All right, this will be uh, part eight of the 1969 Mustang restoration. This is just a small video about the, uh, I got most of the front sheet metal on, the headlight buckets, the grill. Um, I got all the chrome stuff on, which all that was kind of a pain in the butt to put on, to be honest. I still haven't got the shaker hood completely on, it's just sitting there. Um, but got the chrome ring around the front of the, the hood and the uh, ring around the middle where the shaker goes. Everything lined up pretty good. It took me a little bit getting everything adjusted right, um, which most of the stuff takes a lot of time. But I'm working on the, uh, I have LED headlights I'm putting in and I'm also going to be making these covers to hide the back of the grill because it's really ugly looking back there when you open the hood. So. Um, they make I've seen some people had covers that covered the entire length from the grill to the radius support but I didn't want to cover all of that and I wanted something different that I could do myself so I got a roll of this plastic um, I think it was like 20 some dollars on Amazon it's just thin uh, black plastic and I used construction paper to make templates and I just heated it up and bended it to uh, kind of cover each side of the grill opening there so you don't see the back of the headlight bucket. Um, it's really easy to do. I mean, this little work like that makes it look so much cleaner in the long run. When you open the hood, it looks somewhat factory, like it could have been on, been on the car, but um, it's little stuff like that I'm trying to do. I have to trim down that little square bit on the grill. I'm not sure if that's just a molding mark or not, but... You see here I might need to raise up the uh, front suspension as well I like the look of it but I think I might have issues with the tires rubbing um, when turning but here's the process of me making those plastic covers um, I just have a little handheld blowtorch and I've already cut out the uh, shape that it needs to be out of the pieces of construction paper and I'm just heating it up to where it's pliable and I can bend it with how I want to bend it Alright, and here you can see the finished product. Um, I do minor trimming on the front face to get it lined up with the edge of the grill, but um, it's pretty simple. And I'm probably also going to use this plastic to make my own uh, wheel liners for the front to keep uh, a lot of the wiring and stuff I have going on the passenger, passenger side underneath the fender. Keep all that stuff out of the weather. Um, here I got my headlights in. I got the front bumper and everything on. I'm still waiting on my balance because I really haven't decided on how, how I'm going to modify it, whether I'm going to make a metal chin spoiler, no spoiler at all, or put um, some lights and other stuff in it. Um, the blue piece here at the bottom of the shaker hood, I'm going to have to modify a lot to get it to uh, sit far enough down over the intake to where the hood fits tight against the shaker unit. Um, and also I got my headlights through CJ Ponies. Uh, the LED is super bright and I'm super pleased with how they look and how they work. It was a really just plug and play. Um, didn't have any issues with them. Subscribe and uh, hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date on everything with the Mustang and the Ford trucks. And again, thanks for watching.